Salmon are a pretty big deal here in Washington state. Yeah, these guys. And for local tribes, their relationship with salmon goes back, let's see, thousands of years. But 50 years ago, tribal treaty rights hung in the balance as an important court case would determine the future of how tribes would be able to fish, hunt, gather, and care for the environment. Back when European settlers showed up here in Washington, Native Americans signed treaties and ceded their homelands in exchange for retaining a handful of rights. At the top of the list, the tribes reserved their right to fish, hunt, and gather in their usual and accustomed places. That was in the 1850s, and between then and the 1970s, everyone else discovered how amazing salmon are. They were harvested on an industrial scale. State authorities began illegally restricting how and where tribes could fish, making sure the resource was still a cash cow for non-tribal commercial and recreational fisheries. Tribes couldn't leave their reservations to fish, according to authorities. But non-tribal fishermen were catching salmon in the ocean and at the mouths of rivers, preventing many fish from ever reaching tribal reservations. Tribal fishers protested by continuing to fish off their reservations. Things got ugly, really ugly. Tribal fishermen and women were tear gassed and beaten. They were illegally arrested. But when they got out, some fishermen like Billy Frank Jr. and others went right back to fishing only to be arrested time and time again. This led to the United States suing the state of Washington for breaking treaty law, and the tribes won. In February of 1974, Judge George Bolt reaffirmed tribal treaty fishing rights. His decision was later upheld in the U.S. Supreme Court. And here's the nuts and bolts of what that ruling means. Tribes are co-managers who plan fisheries with the state and share equally in the salmon harvest. The other important part of the ruling reaffirmed tribes as sovereign nations and charged them with self-regulation. This is a fancy way of saying that tribes are in charge of monitoring and tracking their own fishing. Tribes didn't stop with monitoring and regulating their fisheries. Today they have robust natural resources teams and use science and responsible management to lead the fight to save salmon populations across the state. That's the gist of what people call the Bolt Decision. For 50 years, tribal treaty rights have benefited everyone who loves salmon. And that's something to celebrate.